Let's take a look at the lower body positioning from the front when teaching the lunge. So it's just a body weight lunge, hands on the hip. Michelle's gonna lunge out in front. Now the step length is determined by the goal. So if the client is quite flexible and good with their balance, you can afford to step further. If they're not, then make the step a little smaller. So let's go down, Michelle. Let's start at the foot. Number one, are the toes pointing forwards? Toes should always be pointing forwards, not only the front, but also the back foot as well. A lot of people will tend to, when they're tight in the hips, they'll open up through the back of the foot here. So both feet pointing forwards and the knee, both knees need to be following the line of the foot. So if the client's knee is dropping in, the cue would be pull the knee out, Good, and if the knee is out, it would be pull the knee in. Now, these can all be indicators of tightnesses or muscle imbalances or weaknesses. So as she's pushing up, she's gonna push back through the heel and stand up like this. Now, this is the most basic form of a lunge. So just go up and down like this, pushing through the heel, squeezing the glute. To progress the exercise, we make it more complex, which is going from that position and she's gonna step back to the starting point for each repetition. So lunge, step backwards. This increases the amount of balance that's required to perform the lunge, in turn making it more difficult. So step backwards and forwards, Michelle. So show this variation and then step back together. Good, yep, step forwards again and then back one more time. Let's progress again. So to make it more complicated, we're going to vary the stance or alternate the legs. So she's gonna step forward with the left and then back with the left, forward with the right, back with the right, off you go. So this is an alternating lunge. As you can see on this side here, when that foot was backwards, you'll notice the toes start to change. So because I've made it more complicated by encouraging, encouraging her to think of the coordination of the movement, she's starting to forget how to keep everything in alignment through the back leg, so it's something to focus on. So with this exercise, because she's doing the alternated movement not 100% perfect, I wouldn't then add weight, I would slow the movement down and concentrate on the form and technique. So there's a couple of different variations that you can do for the static lunge and things to look for from the front position.